Hello folks, welcome back to Neetha's Indulgences. Today I'm cooking two dishes that's inspired by street food flavors. One is spicy and crispy and other is saucy and comforting. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Chicken 65 fried rice is a spicy street food favorite. It has fried chicken and stir fried rice. First, we are going to marinate our chicken. I have taken 250 grams of chicken breast, just cut into small pieces. Add them into a bowl. Add 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Add 1 teaspoon of ginger and 1 teaspoon of garlic. Add a pinch of turmeric powder. Add half teaspoon of garam masala. Squeeze half a lime juice. Add 1 egg. 1 tablespoon of corn flour. I forgot to add salt, so I'm going to add right now. And now give this a good mix. Let's marinate the chicken for one hour. So our chicken is marinated. Now we are going to shallow fry the chicken pieces. Add some oil to fry our beautiful chicken 65. Add the marinated chicken pieces quickly. Because it's chicken breast, it's going to cook quickly. Carefully, let's drain the chicken. Let's start with the chicken 65 fried rice. I'll be using the same oil. Add the oil. Add uh, 2 teaspoon of minced garlic. Make sure not to burn your garlic. So, quickly saute it and keep your flame on low. Add 1 sliced, thinly sliced onions. This is a good stir and now we will add in our veggies, some beans, chopped beans, you can use maybe one fourth cup and uh, some minced carrot, add salt, I want a little bit of spice so I am adding in some chopped green chilies. I will add some white pepper powder which is freshly crushed. Crack open two eggs. Full side. A little bit of white pepper. Give this a good scramble. Let's mix the veggies and the egg. Smells really nice. Time to add in our chicken 65. Just look at that. You can break the chicken if you want, if you think it's a big, uh, too big a piece. Time to add in half teaspoon of pepper powder, white pepper powder. Make sure to use white pepper powder, especially for your fried rice. A teaspoon of red chilli powder and a teaspoon of soy sauce. Our last ingredient is 1 teaspoon of vinegar. Time to add our cooked basmati rice. Now you can adjust all your seasonings as per your liking. So I might add in a little more of white pepper powder and a little bit of oil or butter. Going to add a little bit of oil, white pepper powder, our chicken 65 fried rice is ready, it smells really nice. If you want you can garnish with a little bit of coriander leaves but I am just going to skip that process.
tomato egg masala is a tangy dish with soft boiled eggs. I'm going to crack open the shells of the boiled egg. Let's roughly chop them. Now we are going to prepare the tomato egg masala. Just four ingredients and we are ready to cook up. Add a tablespoon of oil. You can use refined oil or coconut oil. Add two pureed tomatoes. At this point, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. This gives a good color to our gravy. Add a teaspoon of garam masala. The tomato gravy has to thicken a little bit, so let's cover and cook for two to three minutes in low flame. Just look at that gravy, lovely, and the color. I'm adding in a pinch of sugar just to balance out the flavors. Otherwise, it'll be very tangy. So this is the consistency that you're looking at. Now we are going to add the soft boiled eggs. Give this a good mix. It's okay even if it breaks because you want all the flavor seeping inside the egg. If you want, you can add in a little bit of pepper. Garnish with some coriander leaves. This adds a very good flavor uh, to the egg masala. That's it for today. Today we have made chicken 65 fried rice and tomato egg masala. Both are packed with street food flavors that are perfect for any meal. Okay, let's have this. Mmm, it's very tasty. Let's try our egg, tomato egg masala. Mmm. If you like these dishes, then do give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, take care. Bye bye. It's the fun of the stuff. I need some chicken fried rice.